Hello there, I'm Shark Yusuf Zai. I'm chair of the Board of Trustees of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers Foundation. And I'm here at the 2019 Annual Student Conference with Karen McKee, president of ExxonMobil Chemical Company. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Karen gave an amazing uh, keynote address, uh, sharing a lot of stories, a call to action to leadership. And what really struck me is your call to action to our students to develop technologies to really advance human progress. So can you talk a little bit about what the key takeaways were uh, that you want the students to really understand about what you said? You know, I think it's really important that young students who are embarking on their career really understand just how much impact they can have on the world. And at the end of the day, if you think about human progress, it's always powered by innovation and technology. And so, you know, by embarking with ambition um, on, on addressing some of the issues that the world faces these days, I think that our, you know, the students that are very well trained with, with chemical engineering degrees can really offer a way forward on some of the very significant challenges we face in the world. Great. And, you know, you outlined several grand challenges and mm -hmm. you talked about students taking an integrated approach, a team right. approach. But what role does industry uh, and employers have in, in this, in supporting them? You know, I talked about um, the interdependency of the challenges that we have. You know, we do want everybody in the world to have access to clean water, to food, to energy, um, to good standard of health. But we also do need to address the unintended consequences that come along with those things, such as climate change and such as plastic waste. So I really think that uh, you know, these are very big challenges. And I think industry has a part to play because they have the resources. They actually are the people who are innovating technologies that can bring at scale the type of uh, solutions that we need in the world. And you know, the example that I would give you is the Alliance to End Plastic Waste. I mean, this is an alliance, very new, uh, started uh, earlier in 2019. It's a CEO-led initiative where we brought together a group of chemical companies, chemical converters, uh, brand owners, retailers, uh, waste management companies, and recyclers, where we've all come together to try and work together across that whole value chain, looking with the, the expertise that each company brings in their part of the value chain to really try and work together to come up with scalable solutions for um, uh, uh, plastic waste in the environment. And I'm really excited about the progress that the Alliance has made. And it's only really if you take these very large companies with the resources that they have all over the world that you can really, mm -hmm. uh, really have any significant impact on a, a big global challenge like this. And I, I'm very excited that we now have um, a, a CEO uh, staff for the Alliance and uh, they're gonna be based in Singapore. And you know, industry's providing tremendous amount of resources and support. The Alliance has more than $1 billion pledged to, to support the Alliance in its endeavor. And so I feel like we're key. I feel like joining industry is actually probably one of the better routes to have a scalable impact on world world issues and world problems. Yeah. That's really impressive. And you know, you have so much on your plate as president of ExxonMobil Chemicals. And as you look at these grand challenges, what energizes you uh, and in, in addressing these challenges in your present role? You know, I have, um, I, I'm nearly 30 years in the industry. It's hard for me to believe it's passed very quickly. But I've always uh, come to work to have a positive impact on whatever challenge I was faced with, whether that was the reliability of an individual chemical plant or, you know, providing emergency response support for a community in which we, we exist. I, I think, you know, that's, that's the passion you have to bring to work, no matter what it is that you're working on. And, mm -hmm. you know, we are very committed at ExxonMobil to really contribute to the communities in which we operate and to the broader world. And so we really uh, choose to bring our resources to bear on all of these challenges, whether it's internal or external. And I, I honestly get energy by really um, having an impact on some of the challenges that we face either locally or on a more global scale. Yeah, that's great. So in terms of, you know, you talked about your 30 years yeah. uh, in the business. Uh, if you were to give your student self yeah. A couple of pieces of advice now that you know you have the benefit of 30 years of experience and leadership. What would those two pieces of advice be? 
Well, um, maybe answer it in two ways. You know, I, I think the industry has come a long way in those 30 years. So uh, I'll speak to the advice I wish I'd had at the time and then perhaps the advice I would offer to the next generation, which is a little bit different. Um, I would say, um, you know, the advice at the, at the time that I would have given myself is to have the courage to really step up and make a difference. I think early in my career, I sort of felt defined by the role I was in. And, and in truth, I wasn't. I was always empowered to contribute much more, more broadly. I would say, um, you know, for me then and for students embarking on their career now, the thing, the thing I would say is to contribute as much as you can every day and learn as much as you can every day. If you think about a 30 year career, you know, a lot of what I learned at, at, at college is of course obsolete now. Mm -hmm. um, much of it isn't, the fundamentals of chemical engineering remain the same, but you can't stop learning when you go mm -hmm. to work. You have to continue to learn as much as you can mm -hmm. in whatever role you find yourself and have impact and contribute as much as you can every day. I right. would say that is the advice. Right. Yeah. And our audience is primarily made up of chemical engineers, yeah. both aspiring chemical engineers, yeah. edu uh, people that are being educated as chemical engineers, as well as practicing chemical mm -hmm. engineers. Are there any closing thoughts you'd like to leave with our viewers? This is the most exciting profession. It, I mean, we are the world's problem solvers. I mean, that's fundamentally what chemical engineering is. You can bring all that wonderful fundamental science, maths, and engineering skills together with the creativity to solve problems and you know society needs our profession more than it ever has before and I am truly optimistic that our profession will help us to find a path forward through some of the many challenges that the world faces today. And that is a wonderful uh, way to end this conversation. We've been speaking to Karen McKee, president of ExxonMobil Chemical. Thank you for watching this. I'm Shark Yusuf Zai. Thank you very much.